up. He said load up, guys. Load up. He said load up. He said load up. I'm going to go get a seat. <laughs> this is a day of democracy. We go out and uh, voice our viewpoints with the legislature and uh, state senators about oncoming, upcoming things that goes on with people that come home from prison. So basically, we're trying to let legislature know that, you know, you need to do something. You guys are in high places in office. Help people that need help. Hi, my name is Lloyd Patterson. I'm a member of Matt. Free At Last. Mainly the bills that we're pushing for mainly deal with uh, reform in the criminal justice system in the process of how they handle the people convicted persons after they've been arrested. Bail Reform Act, SB 10, AB 42. Personal leader support is the bill that deals with the Fifth Amendment custodial interrogation of juvenile defendants. I believe in my heart that the Fifth Amendment right is one that the American public takes for granted. But in America, you have the right to remain silent, and we want to make sure that this extends to the juvenile client. We want to make sure that they get the effort to have an attorney prior to being questioned by the police or any other member of law enforcement. Some of the other bills that we're supporting here is SB 394, the Montgomery Bill, this bill would allow juveniles that have been convicted as juveniles but have been convicted as adults and given life sentences, this bill would afford them the opportunity to have a parole hearing after 25 years of incarceration. Hey, my name is Kalonza Bird and I'm a part of Free at Last and I'm here to support all of us or none. And a bill that I would like to see passed is the bill that has to do with bail and pre-trial hearings because I have experience with that. I've been incarcerated before and I've had issues with being released from jail being that my bail was too high. Andrew Lucero, Fathers and Families of San Joaquin. Money bail for um, too long our folks have been uh, plagued with large massive amounts of bail. Folks can't even afford it. People being getting rich on our behalf. You know it's not equal rights. We have all these bail bonds that are right next door to the jails. We got a $44 million courthouse that they just built. They're trying to um, build another jail, and by default, when you build another jail, you don't fill it up. You know, Hilton don't build hotels to look at them. So I've been in, I've never been able to bail out on little, minor, petty things. Hey, everybody plea bargain, why? Because they want to come home to their family. They probably wouldn't even took that case if they had the opportunity to be on the house, be with their family, attend work, you know, sleep in their own bed, you know, put some dress clothes on instead of, you know, being in shackles. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're out here to definitely fight for our people. My name is Jaime Martinez. I'm from Homies Unidos, Los Angeles, California. The bail reform will help big time because it will relieve you. It will help so many people in a way that, uh, I mean, not just them, but the families. I want to give them a lot of love. This is Jose Valle. A lot of love for needing this effort. Thank you, Ken. So my name is Jose with Silicon Valley Deeper, but uh, I wanted to talk about uh, this bail bill. It's really a, a great bill for one reason, because it allows you to fight your case on the outside instead of being in chains. It gives you the opportunity to be on the outside with your family in a nice little suit. You want to go ahead and do that in front of the judge with your lawyer, which of course, you know, if, uh, uh, if you're coming in in a jumpsuit and some chains, you're already guilty. So when you come in as a, as a civilian with your family backing you up, fighting your case, you have more chances. You know, right now, well, in, in, uh, in our state of California, give or take in each county, we got about 70% that's pre-trial. 70% of the population that are supposedly innocent until proven guilty, but we know that they're guilty until proven innocent. We're still going to keep on pushing even after this bill passes, because it will pass. Uh, 